Okay, hi Allison, I'm back here. Uh, so it wouldn't let me switch over once I had started my recording in the screen view, so that's fine. So what I have done is I have created a very simple paper tracker for the kiddos. So you can see that I have each kiddo's name on the first column. Then I do unit one, unit two, unit three, and unit four. Um, and I know how many sessions are in each unit because I label that up here. So in unit one, there should be six. I know this is showing me backwards, so I'm sorry. Uh, but there should be a total of six units or six sessions in unit one, seven sessions in unit two, six sessions in unit three, and so on and so on. And so I just keep track. And every time a kid finishes the session, I write that down in the appropriate unit. Then after I've recorded that in Schoology, I simply cross it off and I can tell how far they've gotten by how many pieces are crossed out on each um, section of my unit. So if a student has only finished, like this guy down here, Caden, he's only finished one session, I know he still has five more to do, but if I can count six very quickly, then I know he has gotten through that. Um, and so what I do is just every day, I update this spreadsheet and I just mark off where the kid left off. That way I know where each individual student is on uh, every week. So let's say kids only work in credit recovery maybe once a week, once or twice a week, um, Monday mornings, Thursday afternoons, whatever your schedule ends up being, you decide, okay, today's my credit recovery check-in. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go through that grade book in Edgenuity for each student, and I'm just going to record down their scores. Uh, every assignment in Schoology is worth 100 points. Um, so if they earn a 70 on the quiz, you're putting in a 70 out of 100. Um, if they're getting um, an 80, then you're getting putting in 80 out of 100. It's just very simple. Um, the only one that you actually have to really kind of keep an eye on are the unit tests and like the cumulative exams. Those are out of 200. And so you're just going to have to figure out whatever their percentage on the, the test is. You'll just have to manually transfer that into Schoology as well. Um, but this is how I keep track of everything. It's very, very simple. Um, you are more than welcome to steal this if you want to look at this, if you want to sit down together. Um, I'm happy to go over that with you. Um, but really, it's a very simple process. It's just, it's kind of um, something that you just need to keep up on uh, and keep really good records of. Because if you keep this and you're just highlighting every day, then you know exactly where each student left off. And it just gives you a pickup place so you don't have to look through every single grade book for every student every single time. You just know exactly where they left off. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if not, let me know and we can always hang out and do another meeting and I can walk you through it in person as well. So just let me know what you need and know that I'm here to support you. So have a great rest of your day. Happy Monday. Bye-bye.